call the good people at Optima Tax Relief and let them help you out of your tax debt now. 800-351-8385. 800-351-8385. Nominate an inspiring teen girl for McDonald's fourth annual 365 Black Community Choice Youth Award. One young woman will be honored with a $10,000 scholarship and more. Visit 365black.com for details. Throwbacks in today's best r and It's Live 104.9. Before we get to entertainment news with Zach, I got to get something on for you guys. Uh, the left lane of I-210 westbound near the Prion Lake Bridge is blocked due to an accident. Traffic is backed up for several miles. This just happened about eight minutes ago. So if you can avoid that area, do that. Uh, we're getting up to like 81 degrees, 72 degrees right now in Jennings, 73 degrees here in Lake Charles. Okay. Zach Locke, what's going on in the entertainment world, man? Although Prince has been dead for about a year, R.I.P. Prince, uh, he is still in the entertainment news. His house is now up for sale. It's up for sale. Yes, it's going for a whopping $13 million. Wow. Of course, there's some change attached to that. Um, it is a 14,005. A uh, hundred square foot home, yes. And keep in mind, <laughs> it has purple carpet in the basement, and yes, the fabulous pool is in the back. Um, the house was up for sale two years ago for nine point five million dollars, but of course, when Prince died, they didn't want to seem sketchy and try to capitalize off his death, so they ripped it back off the market. Um, but the best part is, it's in the same neighborhood as Drake, Michelle. Wow. The same neighborhood. Yeah, Drake. it's just funny because Zach was like, yes. Like, I can afford that. Right, million, right. You're right. <laughs> Finally back on the market. Right. But there's more. The best part is, they'll say, okay, so that home is in Canada, right? Uh huh. But now they're starting to do tours at Paisley Park, in, the big home in the Minneapolis. Brit yeah, in Minneapolis. Right. Um, and so people are starting to get excited. That's going to happen in October. But here's where the tea comes in it's not going to be ran by like Prince and his family or friends like that. It's going to be ran by the same people that do the Elvis Presley tours um, at his estate at Graceland. Now, well, they probably got experience doing it. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. And that's that makes good. sense. I mean, right, you know, sense. they need to monetize it. So, right. I, right. Well, 50% uh, is going to go to Elvis, ah, the camp like over there. Okay. So that's where the tea really comes in. Now, yeah. the sister, Taikisha Nelson, um, she is on board with it, but the family members are not having it. And so right now, the bank is worried about them, um, basically, the family members throwing shade in case the deal goes through because yeah. they're not, they're, they're they're, not they don't want money. it. I don't blame them. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going to get some of it, but yeah. only 50%. 50%. I wonder how much they're charging for the tour. 5000 no, I just made that up. I was going um, to because <laughs> whatever, whatever they're charging, you know I got a story. I've been to Paisley Park before. Really? I can give you a tour right now for a dollar. Is it? Yeah. A, a dollar, I'll do it. I know, I know they're charging at least 50 Who do you think yeah. is going to play Prince in his biopic? Tony Woods. No, not me. It'll be, I don't, I don't that'll, that'll be a good one. Coming, um, who would? Who I gotta think been? about that one. That's gonna be a good, that's a good topic. Hmm. Hey, I, I got a quick question for you, Zach. Yeah. Did they ever find, find out who released the music to Apple and to Amazon, all those, uh, no, from my understanding, um, it was his, I don't want to say his lawyer, it was one of his reps that okay. did it. But so they, they had the legal right to do it, it's just the family uh, just did it. Yeah, okay. they had the legal right, the lawyers did, but the family was like, nope, uh-uh, we're not having it. Okay, I don't know, who. back to who's going to play Prince. I don't know this guy's name, but he was in the movie where he was hiding underneath the bed with Sanaya Lathan, and he was in one of the barbershops, the pretty guy. Omar Epps? No, not Omar Epps. I was about to say, he, he is was, too black. He was in the movie, <laughs> he is too the light-skinned pretty guy, and he played like a stalker guy in another movie where he wanted to get back. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh! What's his name? Uh, uh, Michael Ely. He looks like Prince a little bit. No, he's, 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 too, he's too big. He not he's too buff. He's got yeah. too many muscles. Yeah, oh, okay. he needs Trust to be a little know. more, you know. I can't think of Chris Brown. But you know nah, what? Nah, he be beat. He too aggressive. But you say that though. <laughs> but, but Chris Brown could. I mean, he's slender mm -hmm. like Prince. He's, mm -hmm. he's too. He's tall. But you know, but. any actor or rapper, whoever is going to be, can always slim down. I remember yes. Fifty Cent. Uh, you yeah, know, he, he slimmed like he down to like anorexia. Yeah. And then nobody even went and saw the movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I think at one wow. point. <laughs> I think wow, it, I, I think with the success that DMX had just for because DMX was a hot actor. Could you imagine really if DMX played Prince? But, but, it's, but, it's beyond his but, time. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking that uh, um, Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent was thinking <laughs> he was going to get on that level when he lost that weight. He and did. Nobody, well, nobody hey, but it was commitment. Yeah, but he's doing good as an actor now, though. Because now wait, he's wait, on power. Wait a minute, but yeah, DMX yeah. lost the weight for a whole a totally different other reason. Totally different other reason. Yeah. And and yes. 
I have a DMX story, but I can't even tell it. Oh, oh, just let man. it, let I it can't go. Even, I can't even get into it on I the radio. I vote for they DMX for, for playing back. Prince. Uh, yeah, let's go with DMX playing Prince. <laughs> that, that I want a, that to happen in 2018. I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. Please. <laughs> that would be, I know, that, that, that would be different, wouldn't it? Okay, oh, anything else you got, uh, Zach, Entertainment World? Uh, nope, I got something coming up at the bottom of the next hour, so definitely stay tuned and see what's juicy and uh, brewing up in my teapot. Okay, sounds good. Coming up next hour, we also will have a uh, sports preacher, and we'll talk sports right here with your home team morning show on Live 104.9.